it's Christine the Honk Girl, and today I'm talking about Real Escape Game by Scraps online game, The Strange Village. If you're new to my channel, please take a moment to hit that subscribe button, turn on those notifications so you don't miss any upcoming escape room reviews, haunted attraction walkthroughs, or anything else of the sort I do here on the channel. And if you're a subscriber, thanks for supporting the channel. It really helps me out. All right. First of all, I want to thank Scrap for inviting me to play this game. I'm really glad you did. It's a lot of fun. Uh, this is a game that you can play online. You do not need to set up a schedule of time or anything like that. You can just go purchase the game for approximately $27 American and you will get a link and you use that link to go through the game on your computer in your own time. You can take as much time as you want to play and I highly recommend giving yourself like two hours. Um, it, there's, there's a lot of videos in this game. They're really well produced and the actors are awesome. Like I was just, they made me laugh and it was really fun, but they're, um, they're definitely long. They're also not in English. There's a lot of subtitles to read and you need to know that information. So you better be ready to read it. Um, if you want to play with friends, they need their own link to play the game and you can set up your own zoom call or FaceTime or whatever. If you're going to use free zoom, just remember there's a time limit on those calls. So you might have to recall the zoom, uh, in the middle of the game because it's, it's not a short game. Uh, but the videos again, very well produced and, um, just really, the actors were really fun. They were really fun. Um, the first video that opens with, um, the explanation and then the opening scene is approximately 18 to 20 minutes, if I remember correctly. So just, like I said, they're not short videos, just be prepared. Uh, I really thought that the storytelling and the game was fun. The game reminded me of a werewolf, the game where you play like a party game with friends, you got to figure out who the werewolf is. It's similar to that in concept. Uh, there's a lot of rules to like who could be the werewolf, what the werewolf can do, if they can change other werewolves and you know, but you'll find all of that out during the game. You're going to want to keep notes. So have a pen and paper. Also, if you can print out this like chart that they have so that you can draw on it and do it just like they show you because it's the easiest way to do it really. Uh, or you can draw it out yourself, which is what I did. Um, you're going to need to keep track of the information from each video and there's several videos. So you're not going to blow through this game if you're puzzle people, cause you just, you got to get through the story too. And, um, you're going to need that information you really pay attention and pay attention to the notes they give you. And then make sure you mark each day of the game. Make sure not when I say each day of the game, the game happens over multiple days in the story, not multiple days in real life. So just keep track of each day as the day comes along. Don't wait till the end and then try to figure it out. Just do it day by day and mark it down. Um, take lots of notes. Um, you do have access to go back up and it's really cool the way it's laid out. So you get the first video, which is the, the long video at the beginning, and then you have to put in a code and then you get puzzles for this box that you you know, your character has, you're playing a character. If you're playing with a team, your whole team is the one character. So you could play this game by yourself. Um, it just, you know, escape rooms and puzzle games are more fun with friends, but you know, you could do it alone and you're playing one character. And then you've got this box that's on the computer screen that you're trying to open and you get puzzles to solve it. The way that the game's structured, you have small puzzles and then the small puzzles could, you know, be more of like steps into a larger puzzle, which is then kind of steps into a possibly larger puzzle. And then there's also the story and the story logic that you need to follow in order to solve the ending, which is very scrap. If you're familiar with the scrap company and scrap games, there's that end puzzle, that last puzzle, which is often very like story logic, not like Sudoku. But a lot of their other puzzles are more along the lines of Sudoku, word puzzles, number puzzles. So there's a good combination of both. This is again, very story heavy. Uh, overall, I had a really good time. It was fun. The videos are a bit long for me. Uh, reading subtitles was a little bit challenging for me playing in the evening after I was, you know, after dinner, kind of like, let's knock out an escape room and go to bed. And then I was like, oh, this is, a lengthy game. Um, so just, you know, make sure that you pick the right time of day to enjoy a game that's, you know, approximately two to three hours. You want to make sure that you're, you're giving yourself time so you're not feeling rushed or, or getting frustrated at like 
the videos or anything like that. Um, I, I like the way that it's structured where you put in the answer, then it gives you the next section of the game and you can scroll down the website. You can always scroll back up. The hints open in a separate page. I wouldn't try to do this on a phone or like any sort of handheld device, like an iPad. I would do it on a computer. I did mine on my laptop and that was great, especially because you're reading the subtitles of videos. So you wanna make sure that the video is big enough. You can read the subtitles. Um, yeah, I mean, it just, the hints open on a different page. They're very helpful, however, uh, the smaller puzzles, I think they actually, you can just get the answer. If you don't solve them, then you can go to the hints and ultimately go through hint, like hint one, hint two, hint three, until you get to the answer. The final puzzle, I didn't notice that when I went to glance and see how the hints worked. Uh, it was more of just actual hints and then you really have to solve it yourself. Um, I, I just thought this was a great kind of answer to the pandemic problem of let's find something really fun to do from home that we can maybe zoom call with some friends and do together uh, or just do it at home on your own to you know have some fun and, and kill some time and enjoy you know like thinking about something other than what's going on out in the real world because we're not having to fight werewolves in the real world i mean 2020 is not over yet so maybe we will maybe by the time you're watching this you're like what's she talking about there's werewolves down the street we're fighting today. Uh, I hope not. Oh, 2020. Oh, 2020. Um, but, but definitely uh, a really cool way of doing an online escape room game from home without having that virtual avatar, like physical location elsewhere. So I really liked this, um, the structure of the game. I liked storytelling. I liked the game. The puzzles were good. I actually really enjoyed the puzzles. Um, they were puzzles that I'm pretty good at as far as like the style that I do well so I could quickly solve them and that was fun um but yeah just it's a well done game and just if you're a scrap in if you're an enthusiast and you know scrap games just be prepared that the ending is it feels a little little scrap but not in like a bad way just in a scrap way all right. Well, I hope you liked this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Uh, make sure you go check them out. They have other games available online because the physical locations, you know, they're accounting for the pandemic. So they have uh, multiple online games now, and I will put the link in the description below. Again, thank you for inviting me to play. It was a very fun game, and I appreciate it. Um, and also check out my blog, thehauntgirl.com, and find me on Instagram at thehauntgirl. If you've played this game and you want to give some opinions, please don't give spoilers. I try not to give spoilers on this channel, but you can put your opinions down in the comments below. And other uh, games that you would recommend uh, by Scrap or by anyone, just let me know or DM me on Instagram. If you want me to play your game, hit me up on Instagram or email me at thehauntgirl at gmail. All the ways to connect. You know, the world of social media has made us so easily connected. All right. Well, thanks for watching and I will see you again next Friday. Mm -hmm.